welcome back. Sorry, I just have to write down the times and such. So, let's say Anthem, episode 5. Can I, oh, so. Hold on, welcome to Port Tarsus, welcome home. Tissin, give you a contract. Very society. Arcanists, Arcanists, Arcanists. Ar <laughs> Scientists and researchers and scholars who study the mysteries of the world. From my life to chamber instruments, while some are found teaching in classrooms that spend their lives um, solving chamber mysteries in the wilderness, they have long... Uh, preserve the collected knowledge of humanity and consider their studies a spiritual and moral duty. In the Instruction Library, Dunar. Arcanists published a common book of century accumulated learning. There is a concordance. And it stands as the most prolific work and a new issue is pu published annually. Sentinels. Throw is to keep the peace and protect the people of Antium on behalf of the Emperor. We protect the royal house of Bastion and all its subjects. We are the arms of the royal house of Bastion. Shall be obeyed. We bring justice for that justice in order. That order there is anarchy. Scars. Escari. Uh, sentient manifestation of a scar swarm. Once a swarm has reached a critical mass, we consumption can spun a scari. And advanced scar capable speech and intelligent thought. Oh, they're not people? In regular scar, the scar have individuals' unique thoughts and ambitions that are. That to lead the scar power struggle, these disputes make scar eager to augment and prove themselves as they see fit. First scar is discovered at the battle for the terraces, leading coordinate attack on farmers burning the fields below Fort Tarsus. Scars, a colonial swarm of insects that mimic the dominant life form of an area. Scars first appeared from a cataclysm in 413 LV. At the time, freelancers defeated a large visit creature, none of them recognized, later unknown to freelancers. So you couldn't change their mimicry to uh, appear human. That's one of the first time I'm going to say this wasn't just four or five and six. This was a few thousands. An entire colony working together to make arms and legs to make colonies and hence eyes. They became people. Scars and hijacked striders. Cobbled together technology from scrap and search for shaped relics uh, and vent to scavengers. Nothing behind an arcanist researcher's honey blithe stated. But he towards scars is fully for the primary concern is domination survival but mindless thoughtless consumption. Scourge a plague upon this world. Interesting. I thought they were like people, but I guess the Dominion is probably not people then. We see everything. Districts. Okay. Darkwood Barrens, the place where our ordinary Vanessa stood when building the fortress at dawn. Is uh, the Vasilis of Ember were so powerful that it scorched the earth around him. Change of vegetation here forever. The Darkwood uh, Barrens is also the name of the satirical poem by humorous Constanza Yar. Our reference is Derwin Dull, a royal prince who is also a famously inept lancer, though none in Antium's court dare point it out. <clears throat> the verse recounts his supposed uh, visit to fortress, a battle and six and not much else, and causes scandal in Antium's society. Twas Lith um, Lithy in the Brimley Gloves, did in the Darkwood Terry Fane, with swarms of brothers, uh, flank and rose, and Durin Del de Lance again. When the pokes and pots were done, not an insect did dare to shave, but Del had fallen off the skull and did the Darkwood Terry Fane. Exile's Arch. The pass leading to the Fortress Dawn has a long history, not just as one of the Legion's defensive outposts, meaning the place they exiled one of their own. Legionnaire uh, Verithin had murdered his friend Felix out of jealousy, and Tarsus. And saying he should be banished rather than have legionnaires spill human blood. Today, Exile's Arch is still a key location for the banished. No location for outlaw hostage exchange. Thoris failed to arrive for hostage exchange. Captives are left alone at the hanging tree, more than likely to be eaten by a wildlife. Rest refuge. I, Governor Tanner, um, do hereby approve the commencement of the ex extension of Fort Tarsus. This radio tower, the Emperor gives his sentinels leave to patrol and coordinate the buildings of a new dawn for Fort Tarsus and the new people flooding in every day. We are on the exciting work here in Honor Valley. I'm sorry to say, I think we should halt the extension of Fort Tarsus to First Refuge. The strange creatures can be dealt with, which freelancer or human violence certainly will be weak at most, but rest assured we will finish the project on time and on budget. Morning's Edge. Attention to the Fortress of Dawn, Morning's Edge was abandoned when 
Hadaran Vanasa locked the fortress and went to Antium in recent years. It has become a favorite romantic spot for Lancers to his prominence in the Crimson Lancer radio program. Like so morning's edge, why did we come here? The same reason everyone else does. Darla, will you marry me? Will I? Yes, yes, oh, Garrixus. Absurdity hmm. of Valartha. While not as large as Ancher, Valartha was a thriving Arcus Academy created by Arden Vasa, dedicated to the specific studies of astronomy and the mysteries of the Shaper's Rings. Record of Valartha's uh, destruction. Some lost, but tales passed down from Arcanus. Arcanus say that it was decimated within the Shaper Rings became active. Ain't Falls. While well, much of Valertha's history being lost, the story behind Parade and Falls remains. Larkinus, who lived and thrived in Valertha, none was more famous than Yerth Pradin, an astronomics disciple. I did not math the cycles of the moon, but he was notoriously clumsy and was often tripping over himself. His mentor always said, Pradin, one day you're going to fall to your death. And one day, while lunching at the particularly sippy waterfall, then his prophecy came true. The fall is a reminder that not every dangerous teeth comes out of a cataclysm. Tarsus Falls. Uh, these falls considered the most beautiful in the region. Her name is the legendary general of the Legion of the Dawn, Helena Tarsus. It is not, however, the place she actually fell. In the late 300s, Maldi set, went over the fall in a barrel and lived to tell, and a brief fad with use in the time of the Honor Valley boom. Tarsus Forest. Snowball in the forest of the fierce looking statue of an unknown beast, soon the hound of Honor Valley, meant to frighten wildlife, keeping them away from the settlement. These statues are found along. Most major strata pathways in the Fort Tarsus areas and have been given the nickname the Happy Anzu. Could this beast have once existed? Ancient Anzu Arcanists think so. A Solarium Court. In the time of the Urgoth, free humans lived in the ground, and with the Urgoths defeated, humans sought to live above ground. In the open, an engineer and Arcanist set out to build a wondrous solarium where people from all over could find come to find peace and reflection in nature. Of course, it didn't go so well. The project uh, to be abandoned halfway through construction with the workers were eaten by a pack of brutes. Moral lesson from the uh, from courts is that the recent nature is impossible. Let me see. Landmarks. Ring gate. In the early days of human freedom, shaper rings have long been a source of study and speculation for the Arcanist community. While well, much knowledge has been lost about the ring gate, it is thought that both gates used to be upright and the second one fell to the ground 300 years ago. Venus uh, hypothesizes the ring most unlikely felt due to se seismic activity, which may connect it to the same um, ship activity that destroyed Velartha. Velathra. No creation. Gates. A small ship related to such a reality that can be momentarily ripped open, having things to skip through and emerge elsewhere. That travel is dangerous and wildly unpredictable. Those that risk the gates could be flung to unknown locations. Have emerged at all in the previous use of the gates has been known to cause minus in humans. So thus, used by a desert, heartless, and already inhuman, particular scars do not suffer any side effects from using gates and commonly used to surprise or prey. Shaper, Shaper Relics. Okay, we already read that. We invented in antiquity, uh, radio communication not widely accepted until after the fate of the Urgoth radio towers are expensive to build, must be maintaining a source of vision and damage from wildlife, since they're especially drawn to such structures. Clearly announced the presence of human settlement to potential attackers, moreover, interference from shaper wounds, its effective range of even the strongest radio tenorization to only a few clicks. For all drivers, radio save countless lives. It allows Lancer teams coordinating the field without a cipher. A key signals of patrol in contact with the settlements they defend. Radio distress calls lead rescuers to down some um, striders and damage javelins. Of course, everyone inside the Sims Rolls relies on radio for news and entertainment. Actually. Oh. Paid right here. Oh, uh, Interceptor. No, oh, because I picked up a thing. Guardian. Guardian delivers a powerful three shot burst. This rival PS requires skillful control to achieve massive maximum effect. Anti team chit chat. Where is Lady um, Adaxia Maravadels? Confirmed by rolling to the Lady Adaxia Maravadel, one of the most eligible members of the royal family, is no longer living in the palace. For a week, we have claimed that she was sent away for military deployment at an unknown location. Same now says the lady is a wonderful woman, and we wish her all the best in her new life as a captain with the Sentinels. I'm sure she'll do this proud, considering the scandal and the heat up 
Find the palace in recent months. She'll have her work cut out for her. Good luck, uh, Adexia, wherever you are. Hey. Freelancer. Thanks for the save. That trouble was unexpected. You often hang around outside the walls like that? Occupational hazard. But this was different. Something's making the scars more violent. I think it's the Dominion. We think they're back. I'm sure you must know Freelancer Yaro. <sighs> I think Tassin's right. This feels like before the attack on Freemark. The one that set off the Heart of Rage? I don't really know the whole story. I do. Tell me about it. Much of what I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, was there ten years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Freemark was one of the great cities of Bastion. Ancient, proud, prosperous, but most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelancers anywhere. The freelancers, along with the Sentinels, <laughs> guardians of the walls, protected Freemark yeah, they are people. and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the north. Time to suit up, I guess. Okay, so yeah, everything uses striders then. The Dominion, the Sentinels, and the Freelancers would make their claim for Freemark that day. Each group heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsus and her Legion of Dawn. So they are people. One of our best, Freelancer Adams, led the charge as the Enclave left to meet the Dominion forces head on. Oh, they really look like titans. My Johnny says the army was massive. The <laughs> Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take the city at any cost. Probably because it was over like shifter ruins or something. So they fought. Outnumbered, outflanked, and outgunned. Freelancers fought. They did well for a time. And then it ended up breaking into the city. But the walls of the Great Free Mark did not hold. The Dominion poured in. Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. <laughs> When, without warning, the doomed sentinels fell back. Well, that for, well, I guess. But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark. They wanted to capture an ancient Shaper relic that was protected deep inside the city. The Cenotaph. Wait, is that storms? Wait, so it's a storm Dominion made then.
It seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. Arrogance. The Anthem will not be controlled. The terrible cataclysm which was unleashed that day destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. That cataclysm became the heart of rage. Some survived to tell the story of Freemark, but not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the Enclave. All right. Faction system unlock. Sentinels, freelancers, and arcanists unlock rewards and upgrade for tar Tarsus. Interesting. Prospera, okay. Hey there. I figured you'd make your way to me soon enough. You're the new freelancer I've been hearing about. Only the good parts. <laughs> oh, it's all good. The fact that anybody's talking about a freelancer is even better. Name's Prospero. I'm betting you're the one I've been waiting for. Legion of Dawn but stuff? You understand being a freelancer is more than just a job. It's about pride. Pride in doing something well. Pride in your javelin. Hasn't been much of that lately. Intolerable. Who wants to charge into a fight looking plain and simple? What kind of statement does that make? Not when you could fly in looking like steel thunder <laughs> come to life. A fistful of lightning in one hand and a hailstorm of pain in the other. That's colorful. Is what I do. When lances want to make a statement, they buy something special for their javelin. Maybe custom decals or bodywork. I'm the guy they come to. We're used to. Hasn't been any demand. The Forge can't even build anything these days. I'm hoping you can change that. How can I help? We need to fire it up again. That takes Ember. And someone with the guts to collect it. If you can find some, I'm back in business. We both are. I'll teach you how to craft things. Okay, I'll buy it. What I wanted to hear. You'll need to search for Ember outside the fort. Bring it here and we can start getting this place back on its feet. Will do. Fans of the fine extra work doing odd jobs to people for Tarsus. It's also a good opportunity to explore the jungle. So to have good javelins. Respect the fancy, just go looking for trouble. Since you need to go outside the uh, fort and collect amber for Prospero, sometimes can be found in plants and materials. Hunting is a critical tool for any freelancers who want to survive the ninja's world, though through the forge, a lancer can customize and upgrade the javelins to increase power, speed, damage, special abilities, and unique appearances. Uh, amber, naturally occurring dangerous byproduct of the anthem, uses a foundation for human technology. Sometimes can be found overseeing the various plants and minerals we master. What? Free play. Okay. By uh, selecting a strider icon. I probably could have customized some more stuff, but oh well. Uh, that's going to be for this episode of the Sovereign City, you know what to do. See ya!